I guess back more. Uh, Shinma, the forgotten city. What are you city. doing here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium, but that cool as Cumulatus Decius won't give it to me. Hmm. It's too late. She just slipped away. Oh, well, that's a shame. She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally, I'd treat her with resin of Silphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Decius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friend's life that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here, with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her, or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule. Or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that Silphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that Genetricum Fututo and scratching his eyes out. Well, come back if you get sick or injured, day or night. I'll do what I can. Salve. What is this beast on the purse? Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the empire. Oh, stranger, we just talked. Terrible shame what happened to you here. Oh, we just have to oh have we not talked to him in this storyline? Oh. Maliolus. I mean, Sentius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting us? Uh... <laughs> Not going to happen. Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. We have that, don't we? Oh, there we are. Oh, it's perfectly legal. Simply a question of supply and demand, I'm afraid. Take it or leave it. Here what? Ah, uh, you sure you're feeling all right? If you're hearing things, perhaps you should pay a visit to Lucretia's clinic. We don't want another navy on our hands. She claimed the statue was a whispering to her. Nobody else could hear it. Then she shut herself in the palace, and we never heard from her again. But I digress. Do you want this Sylphium or not? Well, if you did that, you'd break the golden rule, and we'd share the same fate as the last lot who lived here. Is that what you want? Do you think I don't know a bluff when I see one? Nice try. That's hardly my concern. But if you get a job, work hard, and save your coins, you should be able to afford it within, say, five years? Very well. Perhaps I can interest you in something within your budget? Very well. Another time.
Oh, so where's the resin? Oh, is that what's... Wonder how much one of these statues is worth on the outside. The many shall suffer oh, right, yeah, for the sins of the one. So this restarts the loop again. Interesting. Weird game. Okay. Uh, Salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? See how I could vote for either candidate. I don't like Sentius much, but Maliolus is almost as bad. Even I could do a better job. Me, a farmer. And I've never given a speech or put on a toga in my life. All right. See you around. The 49 Bellides fetch a game. I guess I, didn't re I forgot all that. So yeah, you can steal stuff and then I mean, it leave you to time loop. I'm just not gonna know who I am, right? What are you doing in here? Yeah, aren't Can't we gonna you save this woman is this dying? Person? She's oh. been poisoned. She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium, but that cool as Cubolates Decius won't give it to me. What? Quick, give it here. Yulia, Yulia, you need to swallow this. Here, let me help you. Hopefully in a moment she should be able to breathe normally. That was extraordinary. How did you know she needed this exact thing? And at this exact moment? Are you some kind of oracle? Uh. A what? I'm sorry, I must have misheard you. I think it's your accent. Because it sounded like you said, time traveler. But whatever kind of traveler you are, that was like the gods hearing my prayers and intervening. You just saved a person's life, and you should be proud of yourself. She might even be able to thank you herself in a few moments. And maybe she can tell us who poisoned her, and who she meant when she was muttering about that snake's cruel black eyes. In the meantime, I'm happy to help you with whatever it is you need. I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. 
As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke, and the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and leapt in. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a riverbank, not far from here. It's all right. Say what you will about this place. At least my fornicating husband will never find me. And while there's no shortage of snakes here, at least with the golden rule, they have to try to be discreet about it. Oh, this shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. But the god who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. So I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside, and nobody's seen her since. She's been gone so long now, we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem, a real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed and he's in constant pain. I really shouldn't say. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him, assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Really? That would be wonderful. Thank you. Let me know how you go. I thought we were going to go through all doors. What? That's some bullshit. Actually, where is, um... What's her face? Wasn't she here? She's gone now. Um... That's oh, locked. Anything in here? Mario. I don't know. If you're trying to goad me into an argument, it won't work. I'm a stoic, remember? If the old man could even keep his own door, I say, how could anyone trust him to keep us safe? Why do I get the feeling you lot had something to do with Centilla's disappearance? That's it. Blame everyone but yourself. If I find out you did something to that poor sweet girl, not even the Golden Rule is gonna protect you. Got it? What is it, citizen? I'm a legionary of the First Italica, but there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the Magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the Magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. And making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. I'm from Liguria, of North originally. Always doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I 
Try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Ram. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl and pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. People were screaming, trampling each other. Then some Genetricum Fugitio tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river. And then, nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. But, unfortunate to be alive, I suppose. Mm. Ah, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. That said, Centilla's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. He's one of the better commanders I've ever had, that's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. But I learned how to accept my situation. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. That's from Seneca the Younger, if you're interested. I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Of course. Fuck. Well, oh, there we go. As I always say, push down like, like four times. Divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. By threatening to execute one in ten men, the idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone. And it works. If you knew you could be executed because your brother in arms is planning a mutiny, well, you'd bloody well watch him like Hundred Eyed Argus, wouldn't you? Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. Makes us all responsible for keeping each other in check. It's brutal, of course, but effective. The Legion is the most formidable force in the world without it. What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms, and those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But life is harsh. And I've come to accept my lot. As with the Golden Rule, I don't have any control over it. So railing against it would be like trying to stop the seasons or the tides. As Seneca the Younger wrote, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient. For he that is so wants nothing. A war cry? Isn't that a contradiction in terms? As Cicero said, in times of war the law falls silent. Seems that way. War crimes. Ridiculous. If you like. Not that it's any of your business, but my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Unfortunately, I don't think my vote is going to make any difference today. See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies, bribery, and intimidation. The man's a savage, but he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. This place will be different with that sleaze of the helm. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. I appreciate the thought, but you're new here, and I just can't see how you could make an impact in the time between now and the election this afternoon. In any case, if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings.
What business is that of yours? A lot of people have been looking for her. But it's been three weeks, and we've found nothing. What makes you think you can do better? <sighs> hmm. I suppose that's true. Santilla was always a kind, well-behaved young woman. I admit, her disappearance really caught me off guard. If anyone knows something, I'd expect it to be Sentia, Maliolus, Claudia, or Domitius. But none of them will tell me anything. You might feel better, though, I suppose. If you're accusing me of a crime, you'd better have something to back it up. Hmm. Worth a try, I suppose. Fine. All right. Please keep an eye out for anything that might lead us to Scintilla. Wait, did he never tell me yet? his name? Interesting. Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? <laughs> I'm Sentia, eldest... What are you... Really? I'd never have noticed, what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped, and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? <sighs> it was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. <laughs> I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually, and even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. That doesn't surprise me. To him, it was like a prize cow wandering off from its paddock. He's upset, of course, but he says he's too busy with the election to help look for her. So he's letting Horatius do the heavy lifting. Some good that's done. Um. I don't know, but it's been three weeks since she disappeared and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. You really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us, like cattle to be sold at market. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she is affectionately known as Sentilla. Mm. 
Why? Uh, because I'm on this couch and not pacing about the villa, wasting energy. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. Ugh, you're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. Do I need to ask her? Well, why does that work out? Oh, what? Like, how did I not know this is a thing? Uh, okay, so I guess that's a thing now. Um, Who the fuck is that triangle to be behind me? May I know that. your name? We have? Wait, if I understand correctly, someone is about to break the golden rule, forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here? I must have entrusted you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume we failed, and you had to start over. Is that about right? If so, what happened? Mm. You broke it. Why in Pluto's name would you do that? Well, it seems you failed spectacularly. Look, it's unfortunate, but all that matters now is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered and do better next time. Now, I assume you sought me out again for a reason. Of course. What is it? Uh. Why then did you say, oh, it doesn't matter. It looks like you'll have to continue your... In uh, of course. What all is right, it? Let's, let's talk about yeah. this. Assassin? What are you talking about? Then what are you doing here talking to me? Why aren't you out there trying to stop him? You'd best go, quickly. As magistrate, I hereby declare him an enemy of Rome and authorize his execution by your hand, forthwith. Any way you can, despite my weapons ban, it's been my experience one can always find a weapon if one looks hard enough. I don't believe so, no. It's not a crime to carry out the lawful order of a magistrate. Thank you. Please act quickly before it's too late. Yeah, the great temple of the Jedi. Right. A new face. Are they? And may Vesta watch over you. I am Equitia. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? It must be completed by dusk, just the same as any other official business. It'll be between Sentius, the incumbent, and Maliolus, the challenger. Why do you ask? All of the male citizens who are willing and able to attend. Unless they're running, of course. Mm. That's just the way it's always been, I'm afraid. It never sat right with me, either. 
There are some women who can vote, Vestal priestesses like myself, but in this case, given my role overseeing the election, I've decided to abstain. I can't allow the perception that I'm being anything but fair and independent, but if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an election. Uh... By using whatever gifts the gods gave you. Nothing untoward, of course. I'm responsible for announcing it and making sure the procedures are followed. You can, assuming they're eligible and willing to accept the nomination. As I said, I'm planning to hold it before dusk, but I suppose I could hold it sooner, if there's a good reason. Hmm, yes, I have overheard some rather unpleasant arguments. The last thing we need here is additional conflict. Very well, I'll get things started right away. Citizens? It is time. Let us meet to elect our magistrate. Election starting. This probably wasn't the best idea, actually. Just walk through him. You walk through her? No. Why did I just walk through him now? So is this like everyone? Is this Rufius? Okay. So I think we've talked to everyone then, right? Citizens, we have a quarate body of voters gathered here. Oh, we haven't to talked to him. The city's magistrate. So that's the other the candidates are Sextus Sentius Imperiosus and Marcus Maliolus Gurgis. As agreed, we shall dispense with ballots, and candidates will abstain from voting. Let's make this quick. As I say your name, call your vote. I'll start with you, Horatius. Sentius, of course. Georgius. Maliolus. Dacius. Maliolus. Galerius. I abstain. I'm just here to observe. Virgil. Maliolus. Rufius. Maliolus. Demetrius? Maliolus! Who else? Hmm. Citizens, you have made your decision. So is that your the thing? Is that we need to convince them to not? Maliolus Gurgis. Hail Magistrate Maliolus. Uh, I said, Hail Magistrate Maliolus. That's more like it. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. And now, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. No more shall you walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe, because the tyrant Sentius told you it was forbidden. 
For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth of the Golden Rule is no more. The Golden Rule is real, you idiot. For his attempt to deceive us all, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. Oh. What? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. His sentence to fight for his life in gladiatorial combat against Domitius. Here and now for your entertainment. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Wait, I exercise my right as a Vestal Priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, Priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Domitius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. You do us all. Lies! It is time the Golden Rule was exposed to what it is. A children's fable, exploited by a treacherous leader to instill fear in all of us. This is why he's in his gladiator gear. They've been planning this all along. Shut up, all of you. The Magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. Mariolas, you fat ass man! The Golden shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh, I didn't know you could actually die. One's lost seat. Are you fucking serious? It's like the beginning of the episode. Oh, can't have the you see live by. All right. Glad you decided to visit. I'm Aurelia. Oh, I didn't just end the episode. I hope I'm not being too forward, uh, but the moment I laid eyes on you, brother. I was intrigued. There's a light in your eyes I've never seen before. Uh, um. Oh, I see. You prefer the company of men. <sighs> Maybe you should go and make friends with Virgil instead. <sighs> I take back what I said. Suddenly, so no matter what she you turns so you down. Let's just forget that ever you, happened. Tatalus cannot catch the oh. drops of water. And the I can't believe that, though. That, like, no matter what, um... Or if you die, you have to redo the entire thing again. I guess we need to do all this, right? Alright, anyway, um, I think we'll end here. That's some bullshit, though. I can't believe that. I just realized, yeah, the other timer continued going. Oh, I didn't mean to make a new save. Whatever. Yeah, it was just like 24 hours. Whatever. Uh, next up, we'll continue on for now. Thanks for watching.